What I'm doing here today is adjusting the uh, rod uh, bearings, taking the shim out. It's a one and a half horsepower M McCormick. Took the cover off. I have already took the cotter keys out and uh, the lock castellated nut. I have already removed that. I did loosen the two bolts here on the uh, on the bearing, and uh, I really ain't nothing. You know when you do this, you're going to get dirty. So just you know, go ahead and write that on the counter. I'm going to need some hand cream and uh, have at it. It's uh, a, lot, a lot of these M's needs this procedure done to it more often than it is. So if yours needs it, just go ahead and do it. And anyways, you work the rod cap off. It's like you would really like to have both hands up in there. And you want to get this thing off of there now where that your shims don't fall down in yonder. So sometimes you, you lose one it's really hard to get it up out of the, get it back on. You don't know if it come off the top or the bottom. But anyway, we did work that one out. It does have the mark on the bottom there, the way that come out. So it's got a mark on the top too. Uh, Y'all won't be able to see it among that grease there. Just, uh, but anyway, that is the top. That was the bottom. So what we have gotta do is take a couple shims out of here. Sometime a last owner, would have taken all of those little skinny ones out of it. I believe in this case, we're lucky uh, that there is some thin shims in the best I can see. Yes. Okay. This one came out. I will put a mic on it and see what it is, but I'm going to say if, it, if it's any different than about six thousandths, I'll bring you up to date, but I'm going to estimate that somewhere around six. And on the top here, when I took this out, the top, one of these shims stuck on to, I took that one out of the bottom, and this is a real skinny one here, so I'm about a six thousand, so I'm going to take that one off of the top. Now I'm going to put this back in there. Guys, there ain't no easy way to do this. Just, uh, you got to be deft with the fingers. But it can be done. That's the way you do it. Just get your hand up in there and uh, how about it? There is a flat position on the bolt I was used. Um, but anyways, guys, just get in there, take the shim out. It's been really, uh, I thought it would take longer than what it did. And sometimes you will, you will drop a shim down in the bottom and, and, uh, and I mean, get it out. Uh, don't leave it in there. And uh, but uh, I just took one shim out of the top, one out of the bottom, and I don't want it to lock up on the flywheels uh, when I tighten it up, and it didn't. So that's about six thousandths I took out of there. Hey, y'all do this every year, anyways. Uh, not just on special occasions, and. Uh, but I did take two uh, 6,000, uh, and I like I say I will check them. And if need be, I take out uh, I take out one of those and put another one in there. Make sure that all of your shims are true to the crankshaft and a little gap right there. You don't want them. And 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 usually they'll go back to exactly where they was at. 
Um, that's plenty tight enough on those bolts. Kind of felt felt tight to me. And uh, uh, I'll put these castellated nuts on there. And guys, always put them cotter keys back in yonder. Uh, don't be a do not think that you're going to come back and put one in there tomorrow. Either you're going to put it in there today or you ain't. Uh, Carter key is very important. Put them in there. Make sure they're right. Don't don't leave a Carter key unspected. I, I hope you all have been able to see what, what I've been doing here. And uh, recap is I took, uh, took two shims out of the uh, bearing of uh, six thousandths each. I put it back together and I did replace the uh, cotter keys. Put you a new gasket. Always use a new gasket on your cover. If you're going to paint an engine and you want a real good engine and you want real good workmanship to follow you, go over and buy you some gasket material. Man, I, I started to say been there done that but I ain't. I'm, I've always been a person to actually use the gasket material. A good sealer. But anyway, that's all that is there. Uh, uh, actually, total time, toting the tools and everything out here. I've not been 30 minutes on this, guys. So, don't let it be said you ain't got time to adjust your big end on your rod bearing on the M. I confirmed these are six thousandths shims that I took out the M. You need to save these shims that you take out of these rods. Uh, if you put a new bearing in it at a later time, you'll appreciate uh, these real thin shims.